How did our universe begin and are we alone in this cosmos? These are just some of the questions scientists are trying to answer. For this purposes exactly, we built the largest and most expensive space observatory ever, the James Webb Space Telescope. Launched on December 25, 2021 from Guiana Space Center in South America using Ariane 5 rocket, the telescope has already reached its destination in space at Lagrange L2.1.5 million kilometers away from Earth. Webb's controllers have already begun powering up its four main instruments as they prepare for the observatory's first glimpses of a target star. That star, called HD 84406, is located about 260 light-years from Earth and part of the constellation The Great Bear. The images will not be used for science, but will help the ground teams align the 18 golden segments of Webb's 6.5 meters main mirror. The most important selection criterion is that the star should be available for observation for a prolonged time. Because James Webb observes using infrared wavelengths of light, it must hide the Sun, Earth and the Moon behind its sun shield. Hence, James Webb can observe about 39% of the full sky on any given day. Webb needs around three months for its optical elements to be aligned, so scientists needed a star that just entered its field of view. In addition to this, NASA also doesn't want a star in a field that is too crowded and HD 84406 is located in a rather isolated region, in the NW part of Ursa Major. The star should not be too bright, like red giant Betelgeuse. Bright sources can damage the detector, showing a ghost image of the star in subsequent exposures. This star has a visual magnitude of about 6.9, which is too dim to see with the naked eye. The images will be taken by Webb's near-infrared camera, an IR cam, which first has to cool down to its operational temperature. At the beginning there will be 18 individual blurry images, and at the end one nice sharp image. An IR cam will keep staring at HD84406 while Webb's engineers move the mirror segments in nanometer scale steps. It is 10,000 times thinner than a human hair to create a perfectly smooth surface. This work is expected to last until late April. Only after that will the individual science instruments start fully training their eyes on objects in the near and distant universe. And the first proper images are expected to be revealed to the public in late June, early July.